What separates Rebbit Industries from our competitors is that the heart of the people that work there. They are passionate about their work, uh, dedicated unbelievably. And I see the sacrifice that they put into their work each and every day. It's waking up in the middle of the night uh, for service call, leaving family events to prepare critical parts shipments, or working in the weekend to uh, process a part uh, to support that customer. And I've never seen people uh, so dedicated and so loyal that are willing to sacrifice anything to make sure that the customer is satisfied. We feel like that we're all in this together and, and um, it's, it's that commitment to doing whatever it takes to support the customer. Because our customers are so reliant on our equipment, uh, if they're running six, seven days a week, we have to be there for them to make sure those machines continue to operate. As a result, we have service uh, availability 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We're the only company that has a five-year warranty in the entire industry uh, that covers parts we make and most parts that we actually purchase. We believe that uh, our ability to manufacture in-house is a great advantage for Rubbit Industries to uh, service our customers. Within a matter of minutes, we can be producing parts, uh, be it from uh, an engineering uh, change or a replacement part that we don't currently stock. So 98% of any part you might need, we can ship within 24 hours or less. We had a company that come, came to us one time and they had a uh, another vendor's uh, piece of equipment and they had a machine called an uncoiler and uh, they actually broke the main mandrel. It, it broke the shaft. Okay. Well, that's not uh, common. And so what the company did is they tried to weld it, but as soon as they got it back from weld shop, put it in, within an hour or two, it broke again. Because you can't weld uh, a mandrel because of uh, the material and, and deflection. So it was funny, we had this particular customer came through our facility earlier in the week, and they asked a lot of questions about mandrels, much more so than we would normally see. But we. Okay, yeah, we stock the material, we make our own mandrels, and they thought that was really interesting. Well, then later that week, they called us and told the story about they broke this mandrels machine. It was, it was for running contract jobs, so they were really under the gun. And they said, is there any way you could make one of these for us? We can't even get the material for six weeks. So what we did, we said, if you have a drawing, or you can get a drawing, you send it to us, and we'll look at it. So they did. There was a little bit of difference in their design relative to the raw material which we had in stock. We actually changed the design slightly so we could use that raw material. We said we could either make it for you or you could have a local shop make it, but at least we've got that material in stock where everyone else was gonna be five to six weeks. So at the end of the day, what happened, we shipped the material to a local machine shop. They uh, machined the component and they had it installed and running that following Monday. Instead of waiting five or six weeks just for the raw material, that customer ultimately came back and bought a machine from us. And since that time, they bought seven more. We know that it's uh, the most important to keep our customers up and running. We've got equipment that's been out there for 40 plus years and, and still running to this day. And, and we're constantly evaluating uh, our engineering and our processes. You learn about it, you make it better, which means that we can have a lot of repetition. We can build a lot of machines. But at the same time, each customer seems to have a specific requirement or need that does require special engineering or customization, which we can do as well. Over the uh, 36 years that I've been at Redbud, the steel industry really has changed quite a bit. What we are seeing is a lot more direction towards automation, reducing labor, a lot more safety within the industry. We feel like we're leading the charge uh, on that front. We've been implementing uh, various safety protocols for the last 10 years, and that's not something that's just done overnight, but it's uh, it's really kind of an art to create safety and then be able to let operators interact with the equipment so that it's still productive. The machines we build today are more accurate than ever before. They're faster, more productive, and yet they require fewer people to operate. That's our goal, is to 
uh, continuously to improve the company in all aspects, whether it be in safety, uh, communication, of course, in engineering and design, in service, anything that we can do to make the company better for our customers. Mm -hmm.